To prepare operation, a working rail is placed alongside the track. The rear part of the portal is flexibly connected to the front part. Thus, the portal is able to negotiate curves. The hydraulically activated protection canopy secures the old tunnel roof during operation. The working area for the crew consists of a walking platform and four tiltable working platforms at the sides. The lowest platforms are adjustable in height. In total, there are three working levels, including the floor area to cover the whole cross-section of the tunnel. Four hydraulic bracing stabilize the position of the portal during operation. Two slide tracks at the sides carry the multifunctional booms, which in this case are equipped with hydraulic breakers. Under them are two further slide tracks to carry the blast and bolt hole drilling devices. The total hydraulic and electric supply of the machine is provided by the power pack at the rear end of the portal. After blasting, the two hydraulic breakers chip away loose rock and, where necessary, rework the profile. At first, the excavated face is protected by shot creating. Then, a first layer of steel mesh is brought in. At the same time, broken material is conveyed on a loader and transported out. When the mash is brought in, grid arches are set in place. Undisturbed railway traffic is taking place except during blasting. The installed mash and grid arches are covered by shotcrete. Bolt holes are drilled by the two drilling devices. The bolts are set manually and expanded by pumping. A second layer of mash is put in. The complete machine is moved forward by the integrated push-pull unit device. The brickwork at both sides of the portal is broken up by the hydraulic breakers and immediately disposed of, while trains are steadily passing this area. Now the excavated face is protected by shot creating, and the working area on the portal is cleaned to prepare for blast hole drilling. By means of the two hydraulic drilling devices, which are moved forward on the lower slide tracks, the blast holes for the next round are drilled.
The face holes are charged with explosives and the cables are connected. The bracings are activated. The crew leaves the portal. The track is closed so the next section can be blasted.